Willow, Willow Springs, uh, a little bit further along the trail, and um, people are sort of taking the opportunity to spend a bit more time just appreciating the landscape and also doing works that take a little bit longer. In this space we're kind of enclosed like almost an amphitheatre, aren't we? It's sort of all the dramas just in the mid-ground and backdropped by that fantastic glowing hill. I've been doing like, painting landscapes and stuff like that before I worked for Mamba. It's just that I did, did get a little bit of yeah, public exposure for doing that. So, yeah, people just think you're a dick and bum specialist and uh, don't do much else, but uh, that's OK. I don't mind. Hills and mountains, that, I mean, there's, a, there's always an anthropomorphic sort of aspect to them. They'd always suggest, you know, buttocks and breasts and bottoms and stuff like that. But these are particularly nice, these really sort of heavily eroded, worn down, roundy type of hills. It's quite intriguing and, and buttock-like. No copying. No, no. <laughs> Unless you're looking a bit intently at my... You haven't put all the trees in. You've left, left quite a lot of trees. No, out. I've edited it. I've been severely editing it. There's about 2,000 trees out there and I've only got half an hour to finish this one. It's great to have someone else painting with you because it pushes you to paint longer and, and just look at what they're doing and not necessarily take their ideas but be inspired by their commitment. It's getting warm. Yeah, we'll be out of the sun soon, I think. The light's too harsh but the, there's still a lot of colour which is good. I don't think it ever gets dull out here. It's a lot more barren and a lot more, there's a, the roots, there's not a lot of topsoil, so you're getting a lot of rock. I um, started out as a potter. I'll take the paintings home and probably work with them in the drawings I've done and make some pots and just paint on the pots. There's no reason why you can't just look at it as a three-dimensional canvas. This plein air business is fantastic because the light changes so quickly. I painted this hill this morning when it was orange and now the sun, it's just about to be midday so the sun's directly over it and it's hitting the shale and it's become silver. It's just beautiful. It's just totally different than the orange this morning. It's a totally different palette. And then there's these beautiful tufts of these porcupine grasses which are orange yeah, I've got a lot of little shadows to get into because the light's hitting them too. It's going to be a little busy dotty painting this one. <laughs> this is my attempt at a gum tree painting. <laughs> Everyone's got to do at least one gum tree painting while they're here. Jeez, I don't know about this painting. <laughs> this is probably kind of the area I find about the hardest. I, I find trees revolting to paint. I hate painting trees. <laughs> and there's just about trees everywhere around here. Are you all are having a show at the end of the at the end of the trip does put immense pressure on you. Um, because you don't know, no one really knows if their work's gonna work, turn out or not. And of course when there's a whole lot of us all showing together, showing work from a similar area, there'll be kind of a real sense of um, comparison happening. So you don't want to do dogs. It's Stokes Hill and um, it's the highest point around and it's sunset. The last light's pretty amazing with really beautiful Flinders Mountains shadows and those lovely rolling hills with the spines of rocks and kangaroos. Oh, look at them jumping over there. It's a magical place. Well, this is our last day in the uh, central Flinders. We're going to the northern Flinders tomorrow so I think we've got Time for um, one more drawing, one more beer. Yeah, well, we might we might not have uh, matched Hans Heisen's gum trees, but everyone everyone's off to a, a really good start. It's just really fantastic to see the variety of work that's already being produced. Great trip that would have been to be on. 
And later this year, Sydney's S.H. Irvine Gallery will host a special Heysen Trail exhibition featuring the work of Heysen as well as the works that arose from that trip. It's just... For more ABC TV vodcasts, go to the website abc.net.au forward slash tv forward slash video.